Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to run a scatter plot with your correlations. So we're going to go up here to graph. We're going to go to chart builder. And we're going to go down here to scatter or dot. So you have multiple options to pick from. I would say go with this second option because it also gives you the line of best fit. So you drag it into the space. And I'm going to look at exam performance. And I'm going to look at time spent revising. Now notice again, this is not what it should look like. It's just kind of a preview. And I'm just going to click OK. Whoops, here we go. Let me bring the screen down here a little bit. Okay, so here is our scatter plot. So um, once you've run the correlations, you can run a scatter plot. Again, sometimes I do scatter plots in Excel. In, in SPSS, it does give you a quick view of this, but I would do it in Excel because it's more editable in Excel. So there's a couple of things you get from your scatter plot. Obviously, you get your line of best fit, all right, and you get your coefficient of determination. So it doesn't say coefficient of determination, but R squared is your coefficient of determination. So this value right here, 0.157, tells us that there is a 15.7% common variance or a covariance between these two variables, which implies that 85% um, of other variables influence, for instance, exam performance. All right, so time spent revising, revising contributes a very small percent to exam performance. So that's how you would generate a scatter plot using SPSS.